survives oxidation a very very important phenomenon if there would have been no oxidation of food inside the body then we will not have any energy to continue our life processes and corrosion is also a type of oxidation do you know we are so blessed that there is less oxygen and more than 70% of nitrogen in our atmospheric air yes we are because this nitrogen dilutes the effect of oxygen if there would have been a decrease in the content of nitrogen and more oxygen in the atmospheric air then the process of oxidation will be very fast leading to a very high rate of corrosion aging and so on and even a minor spark will lead to huge fires so with the god's grace we have nitrogen but even then corrosion is there so what actually corrosion is corrosion is nothing but you can read from the board and if you want to copy you can pen it down that it is eating away of a metal due to the action of air oxygen or some acids so this is the corrosion so eating away now eating away means that there can be different effects of corrosion on different metals rusting of iron is a special case of corrosion where a brown flaky substance is formed on the surface of iron articles and it slowly and slowly starts deteriorating and breaks down and leads to huge national loss so this phenomena of corrosion is both advantageous as well as disadvantageous now the question comes where is it advantageous yes it is children you might have noticed and if you have not you should go and see in your kitchen a newly brought aluminium utensil is having perfect shine but with regular use it gets corroded and loses its sheen now why this is because it has been corroded by the action of oxygen present in the air and there is a thick sticky coating of aluminium oxide which is a coating which renders it passive what i mean to say is further corrosion doesn't take place so this sticky coating gives protection to the metal beneath the aluminium utensil so it is advantageous now how come it is disadvantageous so we are all familiar with the phenomena of rusting of iron so rusting of iron is when it reacts with water to form hydrated ferric oxide and the iron starts deteriorating and it may lead to breakage of the iron article then what about other metals that is silver copper yes they do get corroded but we do not use the term rusting here the term rusting is specifically used for the corrosion of iron and those articles which contain iron in some form so now when we talk about silver so you can see this silver cutlery this is tarnished it has lost its shine you can see these bangles these are also a bit tarnished i have some other jewelry at home you see how it has lost its sheen and it doesn't look good now one way is that people has found a novel way of wearing oxidized silver so by oxidizing silver we stop it by losing its shine because it is already oxidized but why does copper or silver now you can see copper now this surface and you see this is greenish so 
द ग्रीनिश सरफेस ऑफ कॉपर इज बिकॉज ऑफ द रीजन दैट कॉपर हैज अंडर गॉन क्रोजन बाय द एक्शन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ऑक्सीजन एंड वॉटर प्रेजेंट इन द एयर so this has led to the formation of basic copper carbonate that is a combination of copper hydroxide and copper carbonate so the greenish coating on bronze statues in the museums bronze metals or copper utensils which have been stored for longer time is due to the corrosion of copper which has led to the formation of basic copper carbonate on its surface now silver silver is being tarnished by hydrogen sulfide so this hydrogen sulfide converts silver into silver sulfide which is black and this is green and this is rust and rust color is orange flaky substance <coughs> now the corrosion of copper is also very serious because you know the coils of our acs and many other things are made up of copper and the refrigerators or the acs they just start their pipes start leaking and the gas is to be filled up every season because of corrosion of copper there are micro holes in the pipes which lead to the leakage of gas so corrosion is disadvantageous why is corrosion disadvantageous because the jewelry loses its sheen so if there are disadvantages of corrosion then how can we prevent so before we come to the prevention we should know about the factors which accelerate the corrosion so the factors which accelerate are water salinity of water saline water causes corrosion at much faster rate then acid rain then gases like hydrogen sulfide and gases like co2 present in the atmosphere are the factors which accelerate so how to prevent prevention means we have to protect the metals like iron copper silver or any other which is easy to corrode by preventing the exposure of the metal to these factors or the conditions which are required for corrosion now how to do this simple painting greasing and at home oiling you must have seen the agricultural farmers keep their tools of agriculture always immersed in oil why because the tools are of iron if they keep them exposed they will get corroded then you can do anodizing but that is a commercial process anodizing chrome plating alloying etc so i hope the topic of corrosion is now clear to you thank you